Hello everybody, welcome once more to our Medusa Games stream um, which we send out on a Sunday evening. Um, those of you who are watching last week will know that we set up a magnificent flying machines game not using the presets but actually constructing the course and picking our own pilots and own pieces of equipment. So we each now have two far more bespoke um, setups than would normally be the case. Um, and we're now ready to actually make the first move in the game, which I think is over to you, Richard, to yep. start off. Let's get it across there. So uh, so here we are. This is the, um, the screens uh, from, from last week. This is where we left it, if you like. The to be continued moment. We have our um, two fly machines each. Uh, I have Archibald Smythe here in a monoplane, and I have Pierre Dupont uh, ready to take to the skies in this pusher plane here. And uh, Jane, what do you got? What do you got over there then? Uh, I've got Adriana Belhinda, Oof. who so there, is yeah. in the helicopter, and then Elena Mwandi um, in the triplane. Right. So it's been quite a while since I've actually played a full game with either of these particular pilots. So I'll have to see if I remember. Um, the tricks of the trade, as it were. Okay, so uh, I'm first um, first player, um, so I'm going to get going. I have Archibald Smythe here, and Archibald Smythe in his monoplane is here on the he's going to be the red um, rimmed sort of uh, machine here. This is the monoplane. It's absolutely uh, pointless for me to play Archibald Smythe because I just don't play a dirty enough game. I just wouldn't get any benefit out of him as a character. Uh, yeah, obviously I haven't played with some of those, some of the people I've played with. Um, <laughs> there we go. Right, let me, let me get going then. So I need, what I need to take off, Archibald has four um, takeoff symbols there, four, four takeoff dice. So let's get those together. And as this is the, um, air, the airfield and it's a nice sunny day, you only need one of those actual takeoff symbols to get in the air. Indeed, indeed. So select those, give them a bit of a roll. And I've got three of them, which is no problem whatsoever. So let's uh, grab the monoplane, get it up in the air. Uh, let's tie up these existing ones here. They're on the ground still. Right, so I'm up in the air at the moment. I only needed uh, one one symbol. I rolled four, um, and I'm only going to poddle along a little bit here. What have I got? I've got some mountain cargo here. So I'm eyeing up this mountain space here down the end as a as a place to land. Um, and it was allowed. You can always look at the cargoes that are on each of the intervening spaces. There's a mountain there. There's a town of water there. Uh, also, of course, being Archibald, I'm thinking I'm, I'm hanging about waiting for my opportunity to be do to do just something dastardly, and uh, they have my shotgun loaded, ready for that moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to fly along to this this first space here. Uh, to fly on, I need two two symbols. There's two symbols there. Uh, I'm not a plane nice and fast. I've got six six um, dice. I'm going to be rolling for that. So let's grab that one as well. There we go, and um, here I go. I have one, two, three, four, which is plenty. So I'm just going to fly as far as there, uh, and I'm going to call it a, a, a day there. Hover around, load me, load me shotgun. You're not going to do any trick manoeuvres or anything else while well, you're over I, that I space. Do, I should, shouldn't I? Yes, because because whenever you move on, you lose a you lose a you lose a dice. So I've got plenty spare. So let's let's show, let's show off to the locals. Let's show off to the locals with a. Uh, trick manoeuvre. Trick manoeuvre is um, we're on one weather symbol. Well, we should turn over the weather symbol to the next tile along because you always get to do that the wrong way around. I should have flipped it the other way. Um, there we are. It's a symbol for the weather goes on the left. Okay, so where I am at the moment is going to require four symbols. So I'm going to go five. So I'll have a go and try not to crash into the, uh, the church steeple or anything. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, which is sufficient. So yes, I will do that there. That kill, that scores me two victory points. Uh, at the moment, Sir Archibald is the dashing English gentleman who hasn't yet done anything dastardly. That's the right, and the crowd are sort of hurrah and all that sort of thing for Sir Archibald. Two victory points. However, I would lose two dice at that point. So to try and do that again, I'd be I'd be down to to, to three 
uh, three dice, uh, and I think that starts pushing. You've, you've already bit. impressed them. I've already impressed them. There's no point in doing too much. Um, <laughs> right, so I will then take a card. And I'm going to be discarding my my, uh, my cards down to uh, down to down to down to three. Uh, so I'm just going to bring these into your hand a minute. Oop. To make that easier, in tabletop it's always best to to play in the full the full screen mode. Uh, so while we before we just go to Jane's turn, let's have a oh, quick look at what cards away. I've I've got here. Um, I don't seem to have any. Maybe I forgot to give myself some before we finish. Yes, yeah, we'll go time. grab three three cards from there. So what have I got here? Uh, okie dokie, that's that's quite nice. And you know, Archibald Spy doesn't always have to be about the uh, the dirty trick cards, but it's always quite nice to have the odd one um, in your hand for the relevant moment. So, of course, during this uh, particular demonstration game, you'll be able to see what Richard has in his hand. You won't be able to see what's in mine, yeah. um, because uh, in Tabletopia you can't see uh, the cards in other people's hands, no. which is the same when you're playing the game. You can only see your own cards. Okay, okay. Flip that card over. This is my discard. That reduces my, my hand down to down to three. We'll have a, we'll have a discard pile over here. And we'll go over to Jane's turn now. So what do we, we got over here, then? I think there's something for hiding the hand, isn't it? Just make it easier for people to see in Tabletopia. Just checking it. Hide hand is H. Mm -hmm. So if I just do that uh, again, uh, just to hide those cards so they don't get in the way while we're looking at what you're up to. Okay, yeah. so what are you up to? What are you using? So it's, uh, I'm going to just rotate the table here for make it easier to see things now from your point of view. Okay. Uh, so my first um, character is um, Alina in her triplane. Adriana, isn't it? Oh, is it Adriana? Is it? Oh, which is which is your first? Which oh yeah, you which one did you choose? Uh, whichever pilot you chose first, actually, I think it might have been. Uh, I think it was. Um, no, it was Adriana. Right, you're Adriana. Right. Yeah. You're right. It was. Okay. So she's in the helicopter. Yep. Taking off in a helicopter uh, isn't normally a problem. Yep. Um, his helicopters are very good at going up and going down they're just not so good at actually getting anywhere so let me roll my five dice oh. okay well actually I only got one takeoff symbol in the midst of all of those but one is all I need because yep. this is the opening airfield so I'm in the air right now what are you going to do? So I'm going to fly along. I've got a mountain cargo. I've also got a passenger. Yeah. The next town is only just there. So passengers always want to go to the next town or the next airfield. So I might just move across one square and then hover with a view to Well, if you go to any airfield or town, you can. You can. Mm. They just have to go to, you know, one of those. The helicopter is usually about taking off and, and landing as often as possible in the game because that's where its strengths really lie yeah. so for now i need to fly on one space so i have four dice to do that yep as opposed to the six that you had in the monoplane okay two flying symbols that's enough no, I've got no flying symbols, I tell a lie. I've actually got four landing, two takeoff and an explosion. That's not so good. But Adriana, my pilot, has this nifty ability to re-roll two dice in a phase. So I think we will re-roll certainly the explosion symbol, as we don't want that. Yep. That's these symbols here, that's what oh, it means. Oh, sorry, I them. managed to roll all four. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Those over there. Right, let's re-roll these two. That's still an explosion, this is not good. And that's still takeoff symbols. Oh dear. So I can't re-roll again because I can only do it once per phase. I am in the air. Yeah. So it's flying symbols I need. I've got none. And I need... Oh, you've got two. I've got oh, two spare parts, yeah. but I'm, on the dice i got none. That's right, yeah. Um, and I need um, two. Yes. So I could use those two spare parts I'm carrying. However, 
I think what I'll actually do is use two cards in my hand, um, okay. which have a flying symbol on the bottom. So there's that one, which is Saw Through a Wing, which is a dirty trick card, but I'm going to use it as a flying symbol, so I shall put that there. Yeah. Okay, so it's a symbol at the bottom here we're looking at. She uses that to pass as one of the symbols she and needs. And then this other one, Help from the Locals, which um, can be useful, um, but yeah. it basically it's the same ability that my other pilot, Elena, has anyway, so the chance of me needing that on my next turn are not great. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so having thing. managed to limp along one space in true helicopter fashion, and yeah. I'm going to stay there, I'm certainly not going to attempt any trick manoeuvres. So I get to draw one card, but I don't need to discard any because I'll only have um, two in my hand at Indeed. that point. Right, so I'm going to flip, just flip the uh, table around. I've got the... No, I'm just going to flip it around to, to me. Just checking to see if I'd actually set the camera, camera up in this position or not. Uh, so, um, let's have a look here. So I have to go to uh, where the pilot, Pierre Dupont, uh, who's currently on the ground in his um, sorry, I don't know what, um, let's push a plane. Um, so he's take off his five symbols. So the bits and bobs he can do, but that's what he's going to start with. So I've got my five dice here. Here we go. So I'll not roll those, let's roll them again. There we go. Right. One, two, so uh, lots, lots of like, four flying outside uh, takeoff symbols. Um, so I get into the into the air. Oh no, I'm the, the other guy, aren't I? And this one. Yeah. Right, I've got water cargo. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and push on a little bit here if I can. I need to um uh, dice, but if you remember with Pierre Dupont, I can't catastrophically fail a flying test. Um, so I'm not going to be forced down as a result of that. Anyway, I only need two at the moment just to, just to move on. And I've got my two, so on I go. So let's then throw away a dice. I'm going to push on past uh, these people. A bit sort of wave, wave at uh, my teammate. Um, and there's another two I needed this time, however, four four to fly on because of the uh, window of that thing. So I'm short by a couple of symbols. Let's have a look what I can do about that. I've got uh, an, I have a spare part. I could take a drop of courage, which buys an extra dice. I could also take an aerodynamic uh, tail, which gives me an extra dice for flying tests. So these are um, they're all pretty much the same. So what I'll do before I before I burn the spare part is I'll I'll spend the um, the aerodynamic tail for sure. Aerodynamic maybe. tail because yeah. um, the other one is more useful is useful for all sorts of tests. That gets me an extra dice. So I'll just roll. And well, that didn't get it wasn't good enough. So I will do it again. I'm going to be able to change spare parts when I get to the um, well, I'm sorry equipment when I get to the middle airfield. Okay, so that's given me an extra symbol. So, yeah, so that plus my spare the spare part, part which I'll just chuck back onto the stock, is enough to, to pass that test. So on I go, I was the yellow guy here. Uh, but now I've got two spaces, so I'm already starting to use use fuel up. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to probably consider landing there to grab that water cargo. So I will just use the two fuel. So with the rule on fuel is that you, if you go naught or one space, you don't use any fuel at all. Because that's it, actually booster fuel to go quicker than normal. Yes, that's right. You're sort of um, just uh, easing along. Uh, I've pushed on a little bit, so I've actually used two spaces is two fuel. So I take off two cubes and just pop them off to the right here. I'm actually also going to lock down my uh, fly machine here to stop that from uh, just accidentally picking up the, the board. That's it. Okay, I'm done. Uh, Draw a card. I'm going to be drawing a card. Add that into my... Okay. Just show my hand again. Add that into my hand. Are you going to keep that? Are you going to discard something else? No, I show my other roll one here. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's a good one to have. 
So I'll leave that one there just because you sort of have that one as a spare, spare part. And over, I'm now over to Adriana. No, Adriana's no. already gone, it's so it's it's Alina. Alina. In her triplane. Yes. So she has got five dice to be rolling. Yep. Yeah. Okay, plenty of takeoff symbols there, no problem getting into the air. It's unusual not to be able to take off on the first airfield. Okay, so now I'm going to fly along and I'm carrying water cargo rather than mountain cargo. Um, and I have a passenger seat which actually has a passenger. Where's my passenger gone? Yes, yeah, I think I accidentally picked, picked it up earlier. I know you'll play a dastardly character, but that's no excuse. <laughs> Trying to keep out your passenger. <laughs> for intervening with my passenger. No. So anyway, that being the case... I tried um, to bribe them, but they wouldn't have anything of it, apparently. So. Yeah, well, yes. There yeah. you go. They've got more sense than yeah. to, uh, to listen to you. When I'm such an obviously safe pilot, yeah. right? Triplane gets five dice for flying along. And I've got four flying symbols there, which is plenty. Yep, indeed. It's a bit, it's a bit cramped here. I am actually only on the bottom level of altitude, um, but, but uh, yeah. I'll just carry on for now. Um, and I'm going to try and fly on. I think we need to turn over that weather. Yes, we do. Yeah. So um, I am going to uh, fly on. So I only have four dice this time rather than five. Nearly four symbols. Um, don't you know what? I think I'll play my cat symbol on this. Ah, sorry. Oh, my too late. You rolled the dice. I was too late. So yeah. I'll, I'll do dastardly. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, Archibald Smiley has to remember to play his. Uh, uh, I had already clicked. Yes. You had already played. Roll the dice. So if it's any time before rolling the dice, he mm -hmm. announces the fact. Then, uh, but he was too slow off the draw on that one. Okay. okay. So I have four symbols, yeah. which is sufficient. So I get to fly on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, You're the uh, green. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the question is, do I want to fly on again? I only need two flying symbols. Of oh, three dice. Of oh, three dice, so I think I probably will. Oh, this time I will get there, get there in time. <laughs> I'll play my my cardinal cube, which means you're down to two dice. Okay, so two dice. Yep. How many did I need? Uh, you needed two. There's only one there. Okay, but yep. I have a, <laughs> I have a handy card here. Oh Fortune favours the brave. Discard to pass a single test of any type, even if you just failed it. <laughs> so I should do that. And I, for some reason, that card's got stuck to the weather. I'm not sure why. If you can, I'll grab the weather. Think. You can grab the card. Well. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Right, so I have moved on. You have. So I have gone a total of three spaces. Uh -huh. So I need to remove three fuel. And I draw one more card into my hand. Right, and that's the end of your turn. So it gets back to me, I'm first player. So before we get on with the old uh, with the business of the uh, turn, we just need to oh, there we just need to turn over one of these weather cards to establish the. Uh, I don't know that. We've got a pile here with them. And there we go. Flip them over. 
Okay, changing the weather over water regions. And we have a water green. region here. Yep, so if you change Currently that tile. So. Um, and there's a pile of, um, over here is the... Uh, so the weather was quite reasonable, and it's yeah. the square I'm on. So this is the discard pile here. These are the ones to draw from. Yep. Yep. So what do we get? Let's have a look. Okay. So yeah, that's definitely worse than it was before. It wouldn't be that. Okay. Well. And because I'm in this square, we should also turn this one over. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, all right, rest of my turn. Well, I think I'm going to start off by using the shotgun because um, I'm in the same space as you. Um, actually, don't do that yet, do I? I want to. Oh, trouble is, if I go and land. Force you down, of course. The problem is, all it does, does damage, doesn't it? Doesn't immediately force you down somewhere. Right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Once per turn, if in the if in the air, may roll two dice to inflict one damage on a single flying machine in the same airspace at the same altitude. If I roll at least one explosion symbol. Okay. So I'll grab two two dice. Hope no one on the ground is watching. Um, roll the dice and. Ah, we get one. So that's one damage symbol on me. I'm just looking to check and see whether my flying jacket can help me with that. The flying Three jacket times in the game. Yeah. One or more dice with explosion symbols can be re-rolled. That's no good because it wasn't me doing the rolling. You did the rolling, no. So, so I have to take that damage. Yep, that drops on the, those two cubes. But fortunately I'd already used that fuel so it doesn't yeah. deprive me of any fuel because I'd already used it. Okay, so and then I'm going to go for a landing. So a landing and uh, triplane, we've got three, so monoplane only has three um, symbols, uh, two normally and one because of the uh, the uh, superior tyres here. Uh, but anyway, three dice I'm out on. I'm needing, oh dear, four. Got a, plot, got a symbol there. Uh, oh, you got your lucky locket. And I got my lucky locket. So let's go with me three dice and we'll see where we, see where we end up. That's not very good. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so that would be a catastrophic if I just landed in, in the church or something. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, showed off to the crowd. Okay, I think we're going to have to burn a thing. To, now, what, one use of this allows you to reroll any, any number of dice. Yep, so all three of them because they're all useless to you. Yeah, they're totally useless to me. Uh, that's a bit better. Uh, no explosions at least so you would be having a bumpy landing but that's definitely better oh, yeah, than so crashing to three with it, well, two or three. you still wouldn't get there first to land no, I won't. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-roll these two oh. I'll just throw it if I burn the my lucky locket second charge uh, why not re-roll all three well, oh because I've got the two landings yeah. I've already got the two landing symbols mm -hmm. so which is best I can get out of the dice uh, but if I re-roll those two I'm really lucky with at least one landing symbol ah so still no better. So do I, do I burn the third? Yeah, I think we do. We'll give it a go. Come on. Aha, there's one. Because with that plus the spare part, then I get down just about. Let me use fair amount resources to do so. So that's uh, that's me. So I'll go there. I grab the first to land um, points. I wouldn't have been able to do if I'd had even a bumpy landing, so it was worth it was worth burning some of those extra things. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, kind of transfer. Whenever you're on the ground, you can always transfer equipment around like that. Of course, I spare parts around and cargo. I'll grab the other mountain cargo. Uh, leave the water cargo. I'm not looking at our passenger because I've got no space to uh, to do anything about with them. Uh, I could take another cargo if I wanted, but that would mean using up space in my very very limited amount of cargo space. So I'm going to do the best I can do. Uh, so I'm going to go for a takeoff. Uh, I, 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 I haven't used any fuel, um, so I think we'll go with the uh, let's go straight for a takeoff, which is four dice.
needing, oh dear, what do I need? To take off, you needed three. Spare parts again. <laughs> and you do have a take off spare part. I do part. have a take off spare part. Okay, and in the air I go. Oh, it's got a few points out of that, so there we go. And I will now draw a card. Let's have a look at this one. Do you need to discard down? I can't. Honestly. I do, yes. Okay, that's quite a good one for the monoplane to have. Uh, I think I'll go with this one because I'm probably not thinking of using that at the moment. So, oh, do you want to. Ah! Not to discard that. Put one back in the plate. And just hide my hand so I can. You can see what's going on. Right, over to Alana then. Who's okay, got, no, got it's, shot? no, it's uh, oh, Adriana. Adriana, indeed, Adriana yes. just got shot. Yes. Yes, oh, indeed. Right. That's right, that should be on there, shouldn't it? Rather than on there. Oh, so it is. That's annoying because that means that I did lose some fuel and it also means that whereas Alina can automatically repair stuff whenever she takes off, Adriana can't. Well, so that's that... Archibald swivels his moustache <laughs> yes i mean i do Evenly. have the i do have the armor plating which means that it normally requires um the first explosion symbol i can ignore yeah. but that's when i'm rolling dice again it's yes. not when somebody's directly shooting at me so i'm in the air yep. i was going to land anyway and that's obviously the thing to do so Okay, lots of landing symbols, yep. so I don't do any more damage to myself. Yep. So you're down safely. So I'm down safely. So the first thing I'm going to do is unload my passenger. Yep. Apologise profusely for the fact that some idiot shot at us while we're in the air. Yep. Um, but they're not, they're not uh, so they're quite happy to be getting out. Yes, um, they're probably although, relieved they, to be honest. Although they don't, they don't blame me for it because, you know, <laughs> it's obviously not my fault, but nevertheless. Not brilliant. So I'm going to pick up that other passenger. Take another passenger. I just hope he didn't speak to the first one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've seen that the miscreant's already taken off. So yep, yep. I, I assure them that, you know, um, they, they will have moved on before, um, before I take off again. Um, and I could pick up a water cargo as well. It would mean discarding a spare part i have a spare landing part at the moment and generally speaking helicopters don't have much trouble landing no. so i think it's worth discarding that landing spare part and instead yep. picking up that water cargo makes sense yep so i should do that now so that's me landed i'm on the ground i have damage and I think what I'm going to do with the other half of my turn a repair is a repair and scavenge move, yeah. which gets rid of the damage it does. and also enables uh, me to... It goes into your score, your score area though. Oh yes, so it does. Yeah. Uh, it also enables me to replace both of my fuel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what you can do is you do a repair and scavenge, you get one for free. And then you've got three resources that you can take. But I haven't got space. You've got to no put space them. to do anything else. So basically, yeah. you're completely refueled and repaired. But that's the end of your the end of your turn. So I just draw a card. Right, uh, we're over back to uh, Pierre, who is currently over the. Um, yes, he's looking for a landing in these fields areas here. Oh, actually, I'm just going to um, play this card. I think. So one you just drawn, is it? Yeah, one I've just drawn. You can't do if it's your turn. Okay. The, 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 drawing a card is the, the last thing of your, of your turn, yeah. Right. Uh, right. Okay, no, Pierre then. Pierre is over this fields thing, so he's going for a landing. We have five symbols required. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about grabbing, the, grabbing this water cargo um, you see. Um, so, because I've got water cargo already. Uh, off we go. How much do I need that? I'm needing. Um, Taking off, he looks like a, a two, is that? Uh, for Pierre? Yeah. Yes, it's two. Okay, so here yeah, there's a two required, yes. And I've rolled three, so I'm fine. Sorry, I'm going for a landing, so I need still two. Mm -hmm. And I've got five or something, or six. So I'm down safely for Pierre. 
So you take uh, those first to land points. Big Arabs is first to land points. I mean, the first landing in that field in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but the cows are impressed with anybody else. <laughs> uh, he will grab the loop, and I'm going to shift across one of these. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the flying symbol spare part to there. And, uh, and grab the water cargo and put that back into my my space. Thus, uh, that was my landing. I would get back a fuel when I do a safe landing. So that pops in there. So if I wanted to get any more fuel, I'm going to have to do a repair and scavenge injection. But that does use up a, a phase in the game. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to get back in the air again, uh, which requires two. And I have five dice for that. So. Is there a minute? Uh, oh. So just to say we aren't we aren't planning on playing out the whole of the game today. We'll we'll play this out over several weeks. Um, yep. um, but we will we will carry on um, for another half hour or so and see how far we get to. Yep. So uh, I I'm able. And I'll draw a card and then, uh, as usual, discard down to, uh, down to three. Oh. Well. That's one thing I haven't had to do so far, discard any, because I keep on having to use them. I quite like, it's always a fun card to have that one, so I think I'll have that one rather than this one. Right. Okay, that's the end of my turn. So I think we're over to, is it Alana now? It's, a, it's, a, it's Alina, yes. Yeah, so yeah. what's Alina going to do? Um, I am here. I was trying to get to a uh, water square, which I'm over, in order to land. So I shall try and do that. Um, I need to land anyway. I've only got one fuel. Um, so I couldn't go more than one uh, space if I was going to fly on. So let's try and land here. I need five landing symbols. Yep, so I looking, have looking five here. dice. I also, uh, and I currently have one landing spare part available because this one is not accessible. Yep. Um, but before I do any of that, I'm just going to play this reserves of luck card. So I'm just going to put down here. Yep. So this is um, play at eight time to take one luck token to use when required so i'll take one of these luck tokens okay this is a way of automatically passing any test and you get them in the game anyway if you have a really bad turn when when nothing yep. goes right yeah, it compensates um, you for a terrible turn basically yeah but it would mean if i completely have a disaster with my landing now i could use that then so uh -huh. let's roll my five dice and see what i do I've got three landing symbols and I needed five. Yep. So I have got one spare part, but that is not enough. So instead I am going to, oh, I know what else have I got in here? Do you want anything on the cards? Otherwise you have to use that, uh, that, uh, I've got that a, lock symbol. I've got an I know the region card. I could play that. Okay. That is, all tests you take on a single terrain tile um, take one less to, to pass. So if I play this, it will affect not just my landing, but also in a minute when I take off again. Yep. So I now have enough. I don't actually need to spend a spare part because I only needed three symbols, not five. So I've landed safely. So I'll take those. Is it one less or two less? What does it say? I know Legion is... So look, it's two less, yeah. Sorry, you're right, yeah. Okay. That's good, that's pretty so, good. I'll take those three points for landing. Go down safely, you go fuel cube back for free. Yeah, you get fuel cube back anyway. And Alina's ability yep. is that when she takes off, she always um, is able to repair a damage. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Basically, the other thing is uh, is an extra uh, takeoff symbol, which that's mm -hmm. already uh, no, sorry, an extra landing symbol, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is already factored in there. Now, I could um, 
use a repair and scavenge in order to get more fuel but I don't think I'm going to do that I think as I played that card to make it easier um, to be able to move on it would make more sense instead um, to uh, I'll get rid of that take off spare part and pick up of course you yeah. delivered the water cargo as well aren't you oh yes i've delivered the water cargo so if you've done that you've actually got two spaces but you've got, but why can you pick you, you can't oh you can pick up the cargo yeah yes that's oh, the, hang the, on that's that's this, it's this square it's yeah. this one yeah. yeah um so that's a that's a fields token that i can pick up yeah there's a field space down here somewhere so i was going to um discard that landing part for space but i don't actually need to do that do i no no, no because I, i've got the space anyway so i'll just take that one back yeah that's fine yeah so okay so i'm now going to take off again yep. uh which is five dice so five dice she needs she needs so oh. zoom in on it she's five five symbols you see there um and let's see what you got That's one. Good. That's an explosion. So I've got three symbols yep. and I don't actually need five because of course I played that card, yes, the I know the region it's card. Three. So, so that's three good. is that's enough, enough to get in the air. Okay, and I now draw a card. Yep. Right, okay, so back around to first player again, I think. Yep. So, see uh, what's happening with the weather. See what's happening with the weather. It's, this is here. No change. Okay, so no change in the weather. Oh, so Archibald is currently over the air here. He can't. Uh, he can't shoot at uh, the helicopter. Uh, so he's going to move on a bit. Now he's got lots of mountain to deliver. So he probably wants to press onto that anyway. So he's going to push on a little bit and uh, maybe shoot someone on the way. Uh, let's just check my cards if there's something useful. That's what's fun as well. So on we go. Oh, one thing I do do: start with Archibald's turn. I get back the uh, the CAD symbol. Uh, so uh, so I will play that uh, next turn. I must remember, must remember to play that. I was tend to forget with uh, with Archibald. Right. Anyway, here I am. I'm going to need. Um, let's have a look at that. Four symbols to uh, to to fly on. But I do, of course, have six dice. There for a moment. And that is plenty. So on I go. There's a dice. Press on. I'll burn a bit here so I get towards that mountain. For now, needing. Well, I think I've got enough. I need two, aren't I? Yeah. Got seven there. Seven. Yeah. Oh, Never okay. need seven unless it was a thunderstorm in the mountain. Right, I'll probably be trying to fly on, but before I do, since I'm passing you, I'll uh, grab a couple of dice and uh, pop off a quick shotgun blast in your direction. But no, unsuccessfully. So therefore, in frustration, <laughs> I'll also chuck a brick at you. <laughs> yeah. Which I think inflicts one damage on. This is who's that? This is this is uh, Bell. What's her name? Is it Adriana? Uh, it's the no, triplane. That's, that's it's a, a, it's a It's a triplane. It's Alana. So you don't lose any fuel. So this is now, as as I said before, this time I don't lose any fuel, and I'll be able to repair it for free next time I take off. You do. But it's still annoying because every damage you take is a minus one. And a quick twizzle of the moustache, and then I'll fly up. I don't think anyone saw that. Got away with it. Let's move on. Um, uh, down to four dice there, and I'm needing. What am I needing? I need three, three symbols. Yeah. I think it's got to be done. Uh -huh. Use a dice. You're playing a cat symbol. I am. What sort of despicable type of game is this? <laughs> you know. I mean, <laughs> only know? against Sir Archibald because really that <laughs> chuck a brick. That's right. Just so what you're there. doing is she's uh, playing a card here, which has got a little cat symbol at the bottom. So any player can can use the cards as that. So only Sir Archibald has his own, basically built-in cat symbol. So off goes. Anyway, off goes the thing. I'm still needing. What am I needing here? 
I'm leaving three, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm leaving three. To where? Uh, to fly on. I'm still trying to, to fly, fly on, on yes, three. This could go badly wrong, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, we're okay, though. Four dice. Okay, so flu, 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 flu. So obviously the air was tight at the start of the turn. So at that point, I'm going to go for a landing. Landing in the mountains needs four. I have a spare part. And that's about it, really. Off my three dice. Not easy. Okay, you might end up crashing in the mountains, which would... You can still deliver your mountain cargoes. Okay, you so that. that's three things. I need four, mm -hmm. so I do a spare part. So I'm going to use the spare part to to yeah. to deliver the, the cargo. Uh, right, so I'm delivering the... Uh, the mountain cargo. I grab the, I do that. I also grab the first to land marker. Well, she's doing quite well at the moment for these points. Um, He's annoying lots of people. Though. And I'm annoying lots of people on the way, just for the just for extra points. Um, right, that's the end of my turn. I draw a card, but now I don't have to discard it because I I'd already played one that that turn. The chuck a brick card. Um, okay, so we're over to you. Who's your? It's over to uh, Adriana, isn't Adriana, it? Adriana, yes. Who, who is in the black her helicopter, the black which is all the way back machine, here yeah. at the moment. Um, so she's going to take off. Okay. Uh, five dice. Yep. Uh, only got four at the moment. Will you take more dice? Oh, I've yep, got one of these over here. Yep. And for her, she's actually only needing a three because for a for a helicopter, the maximum that the terrain terrain element of the test is is two. Um, so two plus one for the weather, it brings it a three, so she needs three and plenty. Oh no, actually she's got uh, four, four. three, four, five, uh, no problem. She's airborne. Okay. So I need to fly on a bit, I think. Yep. Um, and I really do need to fly on a bit because I'm right at the back at the moment. Yep. So I'm going to play this burst of speed card. Yep. Roll three additional dice for each of your flying tests in any one flying phase. Okay. okay so normally i would have to start off with i would have um four dice i'm actually going to start with seven so you can give me another two yep yep that's very useful so i'm going to normally four from there and she's rolling a seven because of the burst of speed Yeah. Got four flying symbols. Four flying symbols, and you're needing four, which is yeah. good enough. Okay. So I fly on. Yeah. Lose a dice. Now well, this time she's needing two. A nice sunny area here. Well, I'm just going to quickly turn the weather over on the airfield. Should have done that. Um, for them. How many did I need? Two. Just two. Yeah. I've got two. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Another two, just like that, yeah. So, so you move on. Carry on. Yeah. So that's you plant to here. This is over the water space. Um, I do have some water cargo. Yeah, you do. But I think I'll try and fly on one. Okay, because there's another water space here. So you're going to fly on, needing three. You're five. I have three. That's fine. Are you going to go again and go the full four? You have five here to do it. Is it worth going the full four? Probably not. I have mountain cargo anyway. Yes, you do. You need to deliver a mountain and a water, don't you? Mm. Uh, so you're thinking of getting into the mountain now, and then. Because so I already grabbed the first to, first to land marker off that mountain space, so the other one potentially is available if you went there first. So if I go here, I'm still not going to get very far with the middle airfield, am I? Because other people are going to land before me. They're going well, to fly in and land. The red one couldn't. Uh, the monoplane couldn't because it's two phases, take off and fly. But everyone else could. Uh, all a, any of the other three could potentially do so if they if they wanted to. Uh, Alana wants to drop off in a field space, but she's not going to do that where she is, is she? The other On the two, other hand, I think I might. It's a, this is. That was a burst Remember that, of speed. I'm trying to this land is the, the yes. this is the only time the helicopter can actually get very far, very fast. Yes. So I think I, I am going to actually press on. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Four dice to get uh, five, is it? No, four. Oh, there we are. That's good enough. So you end up basically over the middle uh, middle airfield, and you lose all your fuel, or four four spaces for fuel. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to get to, to the roughly middle airfield phase at the end of this um, hour, aren't we? Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, have the second half of the uh, next week. Um, right, let's see where we are then. So that's you done. Are you drawing a card? Yep. All right, so I'm on to um, Pierre Dupont. He does have two water cargoes. So is he going to land now or is he going to press on and, and consider doing the landing on the far side? Because the water space victory points here have gone. Uh, you just have three fuel, so I think I'm going to go for a, a bit of a push at the moment to see, see how far we can get. So I've only got four dice, mind you. What's the risk if you get a little bit too far behind the pace is it uh, becomes difficult to, to catch up. Um, oh. Oh. Right then. Um, that looks fine, like five or six flying symbols. Needing only a two, so on we go. Lose a dice. I now would be needing three. Or do I go for the landing after all? And uh, um, do, 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 do. who wants it? He's got a, a spare part. He's still got a uh, drop of courage. I think he'll uh, he'll go for it. Uh, Okay, we've got three, which is good enough. That's two spaces. But now I need five off two. I could burn quite a few dice here to get them. So obviously being in a good position on the airfield wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm going to take fortune favours the brave and all that. Uh, well, there's only one symbol there. I'm contemplating changing equipment to the middle airfield anyway, so in some senses, now's the time to use it if you can, yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to buy an extra flying flying one there. Okay, nothing from that. I've got these extra dice, though, that I can buy from uh, my drop of courage. Which can be used for any test. I mean, I've not really rolling very well here, have I? Well, let's go again. How am I up to at the moment? Still only two symbols. I need three off these, these two dice. Let's give it a let's give it a go. You can grab a dice off you. Okay, now I'm starting to look the odds are starting to slim out now, aren't they? So only two symbols, maybe something on my card, on the cube left. What are you trying to do? To get a two. Yeah. One, is six, one is six chance. Odds are now not not likely. Uh, so I think I'm going to uh, probably call it a day there. Yeah, I'll just call it a day there. So I'm going to, I might need spare spare things just to get there next turn. And I'll draw a card. I was actually. Yeah. Uh, was actually, I took off, didn't I? And then. Mm -hmm. Okay. That being the case. I'll get rid of that one. That one come in, might come in very handy next turn. Right, so that was Pierre. And so now it's, it's now Alina. Alina. Who had somebody throw a brick at her in the last round, which is very was. despicable. Could be anyone, really. Despicable behaviour. Yeah. So, I'm in the air. Yeah. I have a field cargo to deliver at some point. Um, you do. You also have some damage. I thought you could deal with that when you, uh, I also when you take have off. Some damage. But the next field space is all the way over here. Yeah. So no need to worry about that. And in terms of first to land points and so on, yeah. there aren't any available now. So I may as well just ply on and try and get to that middle airfield, I think. Yeah. So I've got two fuels, so I can go two squares. I can fly that far and then land. Yeah. yeah. So that's my plan. So five dice. Four 
four flying symbols. That's more than I needed. So that's fine. Yep. So I've had four dice to get five. This is. Uh... Four dice to get five, indeed. Yep. Yeah, well, I do have that luck token. Cloud over the mountains has made it a little bit difficult. You do have that luck token. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You got there then. I have two plus an explosion symbol. So I. Can you re roll the explosion symbol with your. Uh... Hang on, how many do I need? I need. You need five. five. So I can re roll the explosion symbol with my flying jacket. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not taking any damage from that, but I'm still not actually uh, getting where I need to go. Um, You've got two flying spare parts, so you would need another one from somewhere, wouldn't you? I would need another one from somewhere. So I think um, the only thing to do is to use my luck token. Okay, and and automatically pass, pass the and, test. And automatically yep. pass the test. So I've wasted yep. a thing on the flying jacket. But then again, luck tokens are more useful. So if that had yeah. worked, it would have been worth it. Yeah. So that takes me to here. Yeah. And now I'm going to try and land. So you need just one for that. Because it's an airfield. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, for the, one for that, yeah. Five dice again. Five dice. And lots. lots. Three, three landing symbols. Down you go. Okay, so having landed, I'm here first. It wouldn't actually have mattered if I'd crash landed, I would still get to take that first token. Yep, so you grab the first to land marker, put it at seven points. This is a, a line that has that. Yep, I thought you going to be anything to get at the end, so. Uh, and then uh, you can deliver your passenger. I could. There's a passenger up here and a passenger seat. And I'm going to pick up another passenger right, because so they, they're they quite happy to go with me because I, you know, just did a nice get people shot. So. <laughs> okay, so you're grabbing one of the passengers, uh, which goes back into your passenger seat. I made uh, a safe landing. You get a fuel queue back for a oh, while. Well, you've got damage at the moment, so. Um, so Alina can always remove a damage marker. Yeah. For free. When she takes off, though, of course, it's part of a takeoff action. So you may decide to do a repair and scavenge action to repair that anyway, or something. Well, I'm on the middle airfield. Aren't yeah, you I? get one of those for so free. So I can get a, a free repair and scavenge action. Yeah. Which means I can do that. It yeah. also means I can take. Yeah, if you if you get back for for, for, for free. And then you can pick up three other things, so, so you, you're fine you. anyway. Yeah. Um, and then you, you, I'm on the middle airfield. Yes, yeah, so you can so change. Do equipment. I want to change equipment? Well, I'm not going to change the passenger seat because I'll put a passenger in it. That would be you awkward. Object. You've got the flying jacket. I've got with a flying two jacket. Charges. The flying jacket lets you re-roll explosions. Yeah. But I think what I'm going to go for instead is the uh, the brilla, the glasses. Because the glasses are very useful because they mean that yep. terrain, you can ignore one weather symbol on all terrain. So it makes oh, sorry. practically oh, sorry, everything very useful. one thing easier. So I'm going to go for that. Just put that there and then just got a pile for equipment. So we, if we need to, we'll, we will reuse it. We also turn over another piece of equipment, uh, which is the catapult launcher. Ah. Oh, it's very useful. Um, that's yeah. good. Uh, but of course, I would depend who gets that, gets that uh, next. And I think that is uh, technically you actually only picked up one cargo and or passengers. Mm -hmm. I was allowed to do two, so you could, if you wanted, also grab one of these cargo markers. I think they're all one point ones. Um, I could um, to do that. I'd have to leave behind one of these. Uh, well, it's bad things, parts. but on the other hand, I'm not really using those because they're not in an accessible place. So I may as well. Let's grab one of them. Take one of them. Okay. 
That does require me to get to the final airfield, though. Yeah. In order to, to benefit that from that. But there's no downside if I don't manage to deliver no, the, 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 no the, the, the special the cargo is like this grass one. A minus ones if they're not delivered, but the general cargo doesn't just just don't get you just don't get the points for that one. Okay, uh, so I shall draw a card and that's the end of card. my go. Right, and that's almost uh, half past uh, seven actually coming up. Yeah, so I think if we we'll probably you know, that's a full round, isn't it? It yep. is. So indeed. it's about to be the first player's turn again with our our, our bold, and so if uh, our first player's landed on the on the middle airfield, we'll see a number of us are going to be getting there in the next turn or so. Um, and then we'll be off to the second half of the game as we race on to the to the final airfield. Where are we at the moment on points? So Archibald at the moment is sitting there on uh, eight, 18 points, uh, doing pretty well. Uh, 18? Yeah, that's so a I've delivered two mountain cargoes and I've done a trick manoeuvre, I believe I've grabbed a couple of first land markers. Pierre is only sitting on one point at the moment, so he's not doing very well, although he's got still got cargo to deliver and passengers and things like that. Adriana uh, has got three points, but she's also got a damage marker. Now, there spot. are ways of removing those in no. the course of the game. Yeah. But at the moment, if we ended it now, she's only on two points. On the other hand, Alina yeah. has got, um, she's got three points for the passenger. Yeah. Five for the water cargo successfully delivered. So that's eight. And then another 10 here. So that's 18, 18. minus spot. the one is 17. 17. Yes, so all pretty. So what, what was Archibald on? On 18. Okay, so we're pretty close then. We're pretty, pretty, pretty close on points at that at this midway mm -hmm. uh, ish point of the of the game. But there are still some first to land. Well, the four point one here and a three point one to be had there, and lots of the first land markers and passengers and cargo to be had. So we shall carry on. We'll come back to this next week, uh, and we will be uh, seeing who who wins this two player game. Thanks, so thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.